Hi, it's Sandra, and I wanted to um, show you some plates that I just recently bought. And I have one that's from Manitude, one that is from Uber Chic, and I have three Manny Algae plates. There will be a giveaway with some of these, and I'll talk about that later in January. I wanted to show you these because I thought they were interesting. And the one from Manitude, if you've never ordered from there, they have great plates. Their plates are really nice. I have no problem stamping them. Um, the only thing with them is I, I'm not sure I kind of know what their process is, but they take orders and then I guess when they get an, enough of them or I don't know how they plan it, but sometimes it takes a while to get them. Now this one I got right away. I was really surprised that I did. The other thing that I bought was this um, cool um, super size stamper that makes images bigger or smaller. So we're going to give that a whirl too. So I actually ordered, you know, I, that's for me this is a lot of stuff so let's go over each of these um maniology plates and the first one is m336 and i thought this was interesting because it was the plaid stuff and although i do have um a few plaid um plates because this is maniology and it gives you the opportunity to put put lines of plaid wherever you want them instead of being stuck to just a full nail pattern that I thought this would be cool to have. So again, this is M336 and I'm just going to take this off and we're going to kind of look at it. I think the possibilities on this are probably endless and I'm going to do some stamping, get a color of stamping polish. And I want to use something that's kind of dark because I want you to be able to see it. But um, so you can do like whatever one that you decide to use. You can put like these in between. Um, I really like these patterns that they have on here. I think that's cool. Like I said, the possibilities are endless with this. So let's stamp one of these on a sticky stamper pad here. And I'd really like to see what this one looks like when it's stamped and because it's maniology of course you have a high quality um, plate I do have a um, plaid st uh, stamping plate from Born Pretty and the thing is very difficult to use so it's very nice to see that maniology came out with some plaid um, plates so that turned out really nice I'm going to put this on my sticky stamper pad and you can see it turned out very, very nice. So that's definitely a nice image and a nice um, plaid. I wanna do one more. I wanna do um, the one up in the corner. Let me flip this around and let's do this one because this is kind of a common um, stamping a plaid. So let's do that one, and I'm going to get a different color because I want something a little bit darker. Let's do blue. Let's see how this looks. All right, let's do the blue one. By the way, I really like this blue, this Maniology blue. It's kind of a, it's a dark color, but it's kind of, um, I don't know, see-through-ish. It's called Midnight Madness. It's, it's really pretty. Okay, so here's this one. And that is very pretty. Very nice. And if you go on Maniology's website, you will see that they give you some ideas on how to use um, with, the, with the straight lines and with the actual full nail um, designs on how to inter interchange them. Sometimes it's hard to figure that out. Okay, so I'm getting rid of this. Okay, so that is the first one that I wanted to show you. And like I said, there's all these cool designs. You can put this in here, and this in here, and this in here. So there, it's just, it's really cool. All right, so that's that one. That again is M336. Let's look at another Maniology one. And these are, uh, this one is a Christmas one, which I did not get, and I thought it was cool. This one is M341, and I thought this was really a cute Christmas one. 
I really like, and I know Manny Algie's done a couple videos on this. I really like these holly berries and the little twigs. But we've got some of the candy stripes and the holly berries and snowflakes and trees and hats and stuff. And I really like this little these little um, snowflakes with the little strings on them. And then we've got a bunch of different images, a couple different snowmen, a little reindeer, and a little penguin. So a whole bunch of stuff here. Oh, you got your car with your tree. Let's do a, let's do this snowflake with the strings. And this is M341. And I don't care if I order this stuff and it's after Christmas. I know that it'll be fun to play with next year. So here we go on this one. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, now see how delicate that is? I think that's really cute. So let's put this on here. So you can see it. That's adorable. I think that is really, really cool. So that kind of, if you have... I don't know, with my nails right now, if you have a base color that's really nice that you don't want to cover up, these are the kind of images that are really cool for that because it leaves enough space that you can actually see what the base color is. So that's why I like these light and airy ones. So there's that one. Put this one aside. And then the next one I got, and I don't know why I got this. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I just thought it was cool. And this one has, it's M012, and it just has a bunch of designs. And I think I liked this, like, necklace-looking thing right here. So we've got the stars in around, and then we've got, like, beads and stuff. And we've got um, all kinds of different interesting patterns on this. And I thought it was really, really, really cool. So let's look at this one. See how this looks. And you know, the one thing about Manny Algae, because her plates are so good, that even these very, very delicate things, like these, this, I don't, I don't know, I would say that's a necklace, um, it shows up really well. So let's look at this. So see how the, I mean, you can see all those lines. I mean, it tur they turn out really nice. The Even though it's delicate lines, you still get, you get a great image of that. And that's something that not every company you can say. Sometimes when you have these delicate lines, what happens is half of them are gone. Not with Maniology, though. Their quality of their plates are just so good. They're etched so well that even those really small lines show up. Let's do this star one. I think this star one is cute. This one right here. Okay. Very cute. So let's do that one on the paper. Very cute. All right. Now let's try... Again, this was M012. Right, put that back in. Now, let's do the Uber Chic one. And I have a fascination with gnomes. And yes, I do have the Maniology one. But I thought this one was cute. Oh, this one opens this way. I thought this one was cute as well. And I get, again, Uber Chic is never had a problem with, well, I have had some problems with some images on um, some really negative images, but Uber Chic stands behind their stuff. They gave me um, some free plates because of the inconvenience, and it was only one image on the plate. So they stand behind their stuff, and out of all the Uber Chic plates I have, that was the only one I had an issue with. So I think these gnomes are so cute. And let's do this one. And I like the fact that they're actually big enough that you can color them in. Now, I don't know. Let's see how this would fit on the nail, though. So there's a little gnome. 
Well, let's see how this would fit. Yeah, they still fit. They would actually fit on my length nail. So that's good. So let's do this so you can see that. And there's the little gnome right here. Very cute. Love it. Okay. So there's that one. And that's uber chic. And we've got a bunch of different gnomes doing different things. We've got, um, it looks like, actually we've got some holly here. So we've got the leaves and the, the berries separate so you wouldn't have to reverse paint it. And the same with this um, poinsettia. So that's kind of cool. And I like these snowflakes. I think those are cool. Anytime I can find snowflakes on a, on a plate, that's cool. Because you can use those all winter long. Well, you can use them forever, however long you want, but it's cool that you have it for winter. All right, so that's Uber Chic. And this one is, called, is uh, Gnome for the Holidays. So that's the name of this plate. All right, and then the last plate that I have is again from Manitude, and this is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So Manitude, I think, loves to cram as much stuff as they can on these plates, so they're very hard to see everything that's on there. But we've got Santa Claus, and we've got Rudolph, and we got the snowman that tells the story. Um, we've got the elves up here. We've got a tree with the elves. Here's a good one of Rudolph. Um, we've got more elves here. Um, we got a moon here and some trees. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. We've got all the reindeer's names here. Another Rudolph. Here's, uh, her is it Herbie, the dentist? And we've got the abominable snowman here. And we got full, full, um, body of the abominable right here. And, um, here's Jack in the box, the Jack in the box, but his name isn't Jack because he's on Misfit Island. So we've got all these images on here and a bunch of um, sayings on here. So this is a really cute plate. I really like, well, I love all the Christmas movies anyway, but I really like Rudolph. So let's do, um, let's do the abominable here. See what he looks like. Now, um, the plates, the Manitude plates that I have received I've never had a problem with so they seem to stamp really well and they're just they're good plates the um, other ones that I have are Scooby my Scooby plates Scooby-Doo's they have great Scooby-Doo plates so those are my other ones that I have so there's a, the abominable snowman and you can see here is Rudolph or one of the reindeer right there let's do another one let's do this um the little Elves right here. Let's see how that one looks. I mean, look how cute that is. And that turn, I mean, they turn out, the stamping quality of the plate is great. I have no complaints. I'm gonna put that on here. You can see. All right, so there you go. And this is Manitude Oh Dear. That's the name of this one. So they don't have a number on theirs. Theirs is just named. And if you're on Facebook at all or on the Maniology site, m a bunch of people have done this plate. So done uh, manicures with it. So you'll get a look at what nice jobs they did using this plate. All right, so there's that one. Now the only bad thing about Manitude is they do not come with any kind of sleeve. So you kind of either got to make your own or put it away with it just no cover on it. Okay. So the last thing that I got is the Super Sizer Stamper. And this I got from um, Lantern and Run along with this Uber Chic gnome plate. So I ordered those both from Lantern and Run. 
So let's see. So the instructions say to reduce the size of the design, carefully twist the bottom of the stamper counterclockwise to make the silicone head more arched. Pick up the design, then in one quick motion, remove the clear part and stamp the design onto the nail. To enlarge a design, first pick it up, then quickly twist the bottom part counterclockwise to expand the head to make it more arched, then stamp the design on the nail. Okay, so to reduce, we have to turn it counterclockwise and pick up the image, and then to enlarge it, we do the opposite. All right, so let's see what this looks like. So here it is, here's the stamper. It's kind of strange looking. Let's go up a little bit here. And it looks like, all right, and this, this is supposed to be twisted counterclockwise. So we would go, All right, so we're gonna do it this way. And we're gonna do a stamping. All right, so let's take one of these images. We've got um, need kind of a big image. So let's do, well, let's look at the, let's look at the gnome. So we got this gnome right here and let's try to make those smaller. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same gnome, which is this one. So I have my stamper here and I've got this all the way up. So you, I don't know if you can see, you can see it better, I guess, by the side. So that's all the way down and this is all the way up. So you can see how it like domes it. I don't know how to explain, but it's like makes it a bigger dome. So I got that all the way up. I'm going to put some stamping polish on here. Okay, and I'm going to stamp it with the dome all the way up. I didn't get it all. And there it is. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this down. I'm gonna twist it down. And now you can see that it shrunk it. So it's the actual, and I'm gonna take this off of here so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay, and I'm gonna stamp this on here. And you can see how much smaller that is. So here's the one I used and shrunk it, and here's the, the regular size. So it does a really nice job of shrinking the images. Um, I really think that this is ingenious. I don't know who came up with this, but it really is. Now, you wanna make sure that when you store this, Obviously, you want it in the down position, so that way it doesn't um, ruin your um, stamper. And then I'm going to put this back on it, but let's do one more. Let me see if I can find a bigger image. Okay, so I want to use this one because I've always wanted to, I think this fairy in the center is really cool. So let's try it with this one. So let's put some stamping polish on there. We'll just do the regular one. and my scraper card. I'm just gonna remove this from here. Scrape it. There's the fairy. And I'm gonna put it on my piece of paper here. Give myself some room so I can do a comparison. Eh, let's do it down, I'm running out of room already. All right, so there it is. I screwed it up a little bit, but there it is. Okay, so now let's do the side-by-side -side comparison and see what it looks like. And by the way, this is Manny This is a Manny by Me box and it was M053. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back on 
Okay, and I'm going to take this and I'm gonna push it all the way up. And I'm gonna put some polish on here. And I'm gonna stamp it. Remember, my thing is all the way up. And then what I'm gonna do is bring it down which is what actually shrinks the stamp all the way down. And now I'm gonna put it on my piece of paper. Oh, let me take this off of here so I can see what I'm doing and put it right beside. So there you go, there's the side-by-side -side comparison and that's quite a bit smaller than this one. Now, would it fit on my nail? It still won't fit on my nail. <laughs> But it does make it, it's, it is a very nice stamper. If you like shrinking things, and um, we've all done the um, taking the squishy stamper and squishing it between our fingers and done some shrinking that way, and it works, but this is going to be a lot more consistent, and I think it's just a lot easier. So I got this from Lantern and Wren. I looked the other day and they actually offer it, I believe, on What's Up. So a um, couple places you can get it if you want it. And um, this is going to be, um, and I'm not, I'm going to do this later, not this month, maybe not next month, but I am going to do a giveaway of these because I actually bought two of them. So look for that um, and sometime in the future. So um, those are all the stamping plates and the little things that I have to show you. And um, I hope everybody has a great new year and thanks for watching.